Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about now experience UI builder. So basically UI builder is a web user interface builder. It is uh, used to create uh, some workspaces like CSM workspaces. So it consists of pages, layouts, etc. So uh, let us uh, go to CSM configurable workspace so that we would understand how a workspace looks like. So this is the uh, CSM workspace. If you go to Lap Navigator and type CSM configurable workspace, the screen will uh, appear like this. So this is the landing page of uh, CSM workspace. So it is like a dashboard in our uh, native view. And there is one more uh, icon which is called a list. So if I click here, it it it, it will show a you know uh, type of our native view. The list it is like if a left side navigator and the right side one is uh, the form so if i click on all it will show all the cases uh, which are uh, existed in that instance so there are multiple options like inbox kpi 404 these are all the pages uh, uh, in the ui builder by using those pages this, this uh, workspace uh, got formed so let us let us try for a more and this is a CSM workspace is a yeah, out of the box one. So let us try to build our own one. So to build a own one you have to uh, go to left navigator and type UI builder. When you click click it you will get a screen like this. So these are some out of the box and existing uh, workspaces uh, present here. So let us, uh, you know, try to create our own experience. So to create that, you have to create here, create experience in platform. So we will get a screen like this. So let us, you know, uh, click on new as we are going to create our new one. So I will give a path demo UI builder. So I need to select the actual UI. So I will select EXR blank app shell and here you need to select an admin panel it is showing UX app configuration let us click here so UX app configuration we need to create a new one so that gets captured here and click on ok once it is done just click on submit now come to this uh, page and refresh it now your uh, UI builder came up here demo UI builder if you see here so just click on it so this is the UI builder uh, view if you see here there are some options UI builder home page demo UI builder menu in menu some options are present like create page edit experience settings developer so these are uh, some uh, settings which are present in ui builder so to create anything in uh, ui builder we need pages so let us uh, try to you know create some page so create click on create page and say as first page so page templates will be there in ui builder I mean, with these are the out of the box uh, templates. If you see some are uh, agent test assist workspace notification list. So let us try to you know build our own one. So I am selecting page template none. So then create. So these are uh, some options are uh, coming up here. Page required parameters. So if you want to uh, make any parameter mandatory, you can use this add required parameters. We will see it later optional parameter as well and maybe if you want uh, to add some filter uh, you can use this there is some option called variant variant is like uh, for example uh, uh, if you are uh, in, a, in our uh, general native view uh, we are having a thing like you have two dashboards one dashboard is for uh, end user and one dashboard is for manager so if you think in uh, such a way so here you can uh, create two 
variants for a different customers so by adding add audience add audience in the sense that particular role uh, if you click add here the open audiences in platform audiences will come here based on the role that audience you need to select so for now uh, let us you know uh, skip it so now that uh, page got created first page so if you see here layout is there so i'll click on main when i click on main it is showing as add component uh, this your builder is full of uh, components only so uh, while uh, you create components then only the page will get formed so let us try to add a component so i'll say list menu configuration is default here because there is nothing in that configuration i'll just save it let us see <coughs> whether it is reflecting or not <coughs> so you know to see the preview of this uh, page you have, you need to click on this uh, open when you click on it the page will uh, open as a preview see now as we have added uh, this list menu these all uh, menus uh, came up here but uh, we wanted to you know uh, define our new new in the sense uh, own one so if you see here in configuration it is showing as default so let us try to you know uh, create a new one to create a new configuration what you have to do is you have to come here on the right top click on configuration so you need to create a new configuration which is ux list menu config table so then and just submit so go to there so if you see here ux list category ux list this is nothing but if you observe here this task is ux list category this my work and my groups work is ux list in that uh, task category so first of all let's create a category and you see you are able to so my category name is UI Builder. Let's give order and submit. So now we wanted to create some list in that a particular uh, category, right? So let's go to this category and click New on UX list. Now I'll give as my incidents or incidents. configuration we just uh, created right demo new we need to select that configuration so i am not going to choose you know, uh, let's say that is true condition okay columns you need to uh, select the columns what are the columns you need to show there so i am going to state category these are the five fields i wanted to show there we need to give the order again. So just submit. Okay. So come to the preview page and refresh it. Let's see the difference. Yeah, it does not reflect it because you need to go to UA Builder. So here you need to change the name. Then only it will reflect. So our name is demo new. So once you have done it, just save <clears throat> then go here and refresh. Meanwhile, it came up here. This is the preview. UI builder is the list category and incident under incidents uh, is the list under category. So <clears throat> now let's see. Okay, let it load. Meanwhile, uh, we'll uh, create a new component. So I am clicking on main, add component, so I will say as list, if 
AMS something which is uh, selecting layout. So let us try to select a layout this, this layout. So in the layout is like uh, on on which kind of form you wanted to see your page. So this is the uh, you know layout I wanted to select. So I just uh, selected this layout. So I will pull this list menu here. you got a view now so if you click on list so it is showing some uh, task table fields actually mm -hmm. now let us do one thing we, we will uh, bind data dynamically i mean when we wanted i mean when we click on incident we wanted to show those uh, incidents so you know it is uh, by default it is showing as a, a record from the task table so let us try to bind the data dynamically so when you wanted to you know bind data dynamically you need to click on this dynamic data binding so it uh, comes like this uh, the first i mean the left uh, list menu we have created right that is nothing but element list menu so what you have to do is table name you have to give so element list menu one dot target table so when you give the target table it will you know automatically create those incidents uh, give those incident records so i will give the title as again uh, data binding only element list menu one title so it will come as you know <coughs> and again let's select columns element list menu one underscore columns then if you remember we have given uh, five fields while creating that category so those five fields will come up here let's save it and see yes now it is loaded but it is uh, showing some different data let us see what is uh, we are missing so if you come here in this table element list menu one target table we have given you need to change it yes you need to change it as table so it would reflect incidents data see incident numbers came up okay so let's save it so this is how you need to uh, create a uh, components and bind the data to them dynamically because always we need to populate the data dynamically right so we have created a list menu on the left side and a list on the right side so this is the page uh, we are uh, getting now uh, When I click on incidents, this uh, incidents data is coming up. When I click on incidents, it's not uh, redirecting to anywhere, right? So let us uh, try to you know uh, know about more in the next class.